Oh boy, what a drama filled event trying to get this thing started. Let me get this out of the way. And probably should go get something to drink too. Uh, basically what happened is, is I tried scheduling and restream. But what I, I didn't realize is that you can't use OBS. And I like using all the different camera angles that I have. It doesn't allow me to do that. So I ended up paying for this advanced version of it. And as you saw yesterday, I thought that, that Rumble Slam video was horrible. Horrible. Because I just couldn't do what I had hoped to do. So um, I, I changed everything up this morning. I tried figuring it out. It's something I'm going to have to take some time with and really work on. Because I really like using... Um, Restream. I think Restream is really, really good. And uh, I like it as much as I do StreamYard. Uh, but it offers the same features. Kind of really makes things a little tough. Uh, if everybody can see and hear me, I would love to know that. It would help me uh, greatly. And, uh, and we'll get going because this is a very unique experience. So I hope I do it right. Um, if you saw our, our live, uh, Rambo video, okay, um, uh, where we had Chris in, we did the first mission for you. Hey, Jeremy, how are you? Um, we did the first mission for you and we went through it. This, it comes with an expansion. Now what, what the board game does, it covers Rambo two and three. Okay. But there is an expansion to it to play Rambo the board game First Blood. So you actually get the trilogy. So if you have the advantage to get the trilogy edition, I would suggest it. The difference here is with First Blood, it is a one player experience, but it is a storybook type of thing. Um, with the board game, as you saw, it is an experience that you play with anywhere from one to four players and plays pretty well it's, it's pretty unique this is is going to go off this this book right here okay at the mission book we're going to play out of the mission book but we do have figures with it so let's take a look at those guys here so i'll just i'll show you what i did here a little bit and this is the advantages of having OBS. I can kind of move things around and try things out. Uh, as you can see here, uh, our boy's surrounded <laughs> by a bunch of sheriffs. Uh, this is, of course, Sheriff Teasel. And then you got all the other jerks that that just couldn't leave him alone. Now, uh, good morning, Jason. How are you? Now, this one here. Uh, I actually peeled him off his, his base and I put him onto a micro art base. I just thought it would be kind of a little bit cooler to have him in the forest the way he was. So I actually took him off this base uh, and, and um, did some work here. So I put him on here and then I painted him up all for today's uh, thing. Now these miniatures are good. They're solid. Uh, they're not the greatest. Okay, I mean, if you're looking for GW quality, you're not going to get it. But they're good enough to paint up and get on the board. And they bring that thematic feel to it if you're not knocking them all over like I just did. So as we need these, I will pull these out. I'm not going to go too far into this because I don't want to ruin the experience for everybody. But what I do want to do is I want to give you a feel for it. Ha let you get you know see what you think of it and take it from there so the way this starts out is that we are going to go up top i believe and i'm going to turn my hat backwards so my hat don't get in the way and we have our rambo mission book you're going to get a bunch of cards that are going to be different from the board game so if you saw our board game thing okay then uh, uh i mean uh, rambo two and three which comes in the standard board game uh, this comes in a separate box, all, everything that you're going to see here. Uh, you're going to have these gunshot cards. They're going to come out when the story is applicable. Okay, You're going to have a bunch of different gear cards separate. So you don't use anything from 
you don't use anything from the the baseboard game this is something separate onto itself even the round tracker is different because there's a lot more as you can see rounds involved here all right okay uh we are going to be dealing with deputy ward deputy gall that punk with the oh yeah i, I, I tell you if i wish i could have fought him deputy mitch was a jerk uh and sheriff teasel oh where's our other deputy here hold on i think i mixed them in here somewhere <laughs> uh there is a junior deputy oh boy come on rob oh oh oh, oh. he's in the book that's what i'm psh, i'm losing my mind losing my mind all right all right so and then you have your rambo board now this is different it doesn't have a threat tracker to it okay great really cool what you do started the hero quest a big fan of what you do and great miniature painter you are keep it up my friend yes i dig your cast i'm 43 well thank you so much jeremy that means a lot to me um so he uh, on the side here there would be a, a, an extra part here for the threat and if we were playing the other game threat really causes a, you know to you to be seen or hidden this is going to be a little different because as you can see rambo only has five health here and every time we go through our health we're going to be blocking out one of these things because these are stances and they're going to do different things i'll explain them as we go and of course we have a set of tactic cards that we will go but there's a story to be told here um how are we doing on twitch can anybody let me know so what i'm going to do is i want to get out my stance marker all right well i don't need it right now because we're just going to open up the book and see where it takes us because everything becomes a giant ride here okay so i'm going to move this up here move that up there a little bit and then we're gonna get going now i'm playing this the first time as much as you guys are there is a rule book but it pretty much just tells me everything that i already know um in the game here um as you can see there's components and stuff like that and there's going to be all kinds of different things how you're going to go through your mission setup and so forth and so on okay so we're not going to worry about that but the only thing I do want to keep out and I am going to put off to the side here is how the round overview goes. Each, each round has a bunch of steps and we're going to go through all these steps All right, as we go. All right, so let us begin first blood and see how it goes. All right. Thank you, neutral. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to, looks like I'm going to be doing some reading here. So let, let me do some reading for you, my good friends. It's 1982. And let me pull this a little closer so you guys can hear me. There we go. Can you guys hear me all right? Good. It's 1982. You, John J. Rambo, have just come home from war, and you're getting the heroic welcome. Uh, uh, you're not getting the heroic welcome uh, welcome home, you expected. You were greeted by protesters at the airport who boo, spit on you, throw rotten food, and call you n names like baby killer and fascist. You walk from the airport confused and demoralized. With no one to call on, you hitchhiked your way to Washington State, where you hope to find the only living friend you have left, Delmar Barry. When you arrive at his house, his mother greets you. She gives you grave news. Delmar has died from Agent Orange, induced cancer. He was the last person you knew from Nam, the last of your entire unit. Danforth, Mesner, Jorgensen, Ortega, and now Delmar Berry are all dead. You are utterly alone. With an empty heart, you move on down the road. Well, you know what? I do want to keep this kind of hidden from you guys, so just bear with me for a second. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> with an empty heart, you m move on down the road, wandering without a true destiny, simply headed north. 
On your journey, you pass through the gateway to Holiday Land. A welcome to hope sign on the roadside that marks the border of Hope, Washington. You head into town hoping there's somewhere to grab a quick meal. Unknown to you, Will Teasel, Sheriff of Hope, has just started making his rounds in the patrol car. He comes across a disheveled drifter, obviously a NAM vet, walking down the road. He pulls over in front of you, blocking your path. Sheriff Teasel, morning! You visiting someone around here? Rambo, no. Teasel, you know you're wearing that flag on your jacket, looking the, you know wearing the that flag on your jacket, looking the way you do. You're asking for trouble around here, friend. You don't respond. Are you headed north or south, Rambo? North. Teasel, jump in. I'll make sure you head in the right direction. You reluctantly get into the car, and the sheriff starts driving through town, straight past the diner you were heading towards. Teasel, where are you heading? Portland. Teasel, Portland South. You said you were heading north. Rambo, you got some place I can eat around here? There's a diner about 30 miles up the highway. Rambo, is there a law against me getting something to eat here? Teasel, yeah, me. Rambo, why are you pushing me? Teasel, what did you say? I said, why are you pushing me? I haven't done anything to you. Teasel, first of all, you don't ask the questions around here. I do. Understand? Secondly, we don't want guys like you in, in this town. Drifters, first thing you know, you've got a whole bunch of guys like you in this town. That's why. Besides, you wouldn't like it here. This is a quiet little town. In fact, you might say it's boring. But that's the way we like it, and I get paid to keep it that way. Boring. The sheriff pulls onto the shoulder of the other side of the town and flips his police lights on. Teasel. Portland. Straight ahead. If you want some friendly advice, get your hair cut and take a bath. You wouldn't get hassled so much. I hope this ride helps you out. Have a nice day. Uh... All right, okay. It's a long road when you're on your own, says Bo Bohan. Uh, I'm going to grab something to drink. Just give me a second, folks. It's not even going to be a minute. Sorry about that. I just got out of the gym and my mouth's dry as anything. Cause... And we came right into this. Mm. Nothing like a Diet Dr. Pepper to start your day, right? <laughs> All right. So now the next part comes to you guys, okay? So we're going to do this. Rambo, what do you do? Do you A... I'm hungry, uh, display orders, about face, and march back through town to the diner where you were, you were headed. We would read A. Or B. This town isn't for you. You don't want any more trouble. Continue walking down the road. Hopefully you'll make it to that diner before dark. So A or B. A or B. RP Game Pro. Black coffee and rambo good combo for saturday morning thanks for thanks for the stream well you're very welcome so i'm gonna let you guys pick pick this and we'll see where this goes obviously obviously i would disobey orders a keep with keep with the movie b says christopher just move on oh chris how are you doing I'm glad you're here because I do have a question. A, of course, says Preachman. All right. So we got two A's. If we get one more A, we're going to go with A. Mm. Oh, there we go. 
There we go. Now I can talk for another hour and a half. A says RP Game Pro. So everybody decided to go with A. So we're going to go with A. I'm hungry. Option A. Your blood boils. Your stomach growls. And you decide you've had enough. You turn and walk straight back towards the podunk little town to get some grub. Sheriff Teasel immediately flashes his lights and drives back towards you. Teasel, where the hell do you think you're going? I'm talking to you, goddammit. He climbs out of the car and scrambles after you. Teasel, let's see some ID. He tenses up and when you don't respond. All right, you're under arrest. Put your hands on the car. When you make no move, he puts a, uh, a hand on his gun. Teasel, you put your hands on that car, and you spread them. You're going to put your hands on that car. How you do it, you decide right now. Rambo, what do you do? You panic and strike out at the closest thing to you. Okay, or you comply with Teasel's orders. Honestly, honestly, I think uh, I think uh, we should comply with his orders. Uh, he does have a gun. He does have a gun. But I'm going to leave this up to you guys. I'm going to leave it up to you guys, and I'm not letting you guys see anything. Comply, go quality, says Christopher. So that's 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 one. That's one. Okay. So, it's the best, best three out of five here. Comply, says Preacher. All right. Hey, Dutch, how you doing? So, that's two comply. If we get one more comply, we're going to go right to comply. Now, all of a sudden, we decide to follow orders. Hmm? But then again, the guy does have a gun on us. And even though we're Rambo, you know, six shots or shot in the head don't really uh, help Rambo. Never seen anybody get up from that one. Uh, resist. Still hungry, says neutral. Well, we got one resist, so we got two comply. Fight. Oh, look at these guys. Fight. Use that bow knife. Look at you guys. And we're going to wait for one more. It's tied 2-2. Two, two. I think we comply, to be honest with you. Resist. Oh, that's it. All right, we're going to resist. Let's see how this turns out. Uh, A2. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, A1, excuse me. You have a flashback to Nam. You're in the POW camp. They have you lashed, uh, lashed against the wall, and they cut your back with hot steel. Acquire gear, Rambo knife. Okay, I know I have that on the top here. Okay, so we've acquired that gear, and we're going to turn to mission one, Nam flashback on page four. Well, okay, you guys asked for it. You guys asked for it. <laughs> All right, so mission one. All right, so. This is the neat little part of this, and I, I, I want to bring this up a little bit more into the light there, there perfectly. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put this here. This is your map. This is what you're going to be playing on. Okay. So we have Cheryl, uh, Sheriff Teasel. Okay. Obviously, uh, we have the card for him and what he does. So you don't need the card. Um, but you can have it here just in case you want it there. Okay. So we're going to put that there. Teasel ignores any kind of defense. Oh, jeez, he has to. This guy's a, a bad dude. We really didn't want to do this. But, hey, you guys wanted to do it the hard way. All right. So we're going to put that miniature, painted, of course, onto the uh, map board here. And let's get a different angle. Because that's what we do. Is that one good? Or should I use the other one? Hold on, folks. I didn't set up all my cameras here. Okay, here we go. Okay. And 
Well, we can go up above too, which is fine. Or this one. Doesn't matter. All right. So, again, here we go. I'm going to bring this a little closer to you guys. All right, there we go. So, the sheriff's here. And we are going to put... Where's Rambo? Oh, well, of course. We got Rambo right here. All right. So, this isn't going to go very well. Let's see what happens. Rambo has his knife. Okay. So, we're going to put his knife right here. Okay. And I'm going to give you a briefing of how this is going to go. You've had enough of people treating you like you're no good. Like you're worthless. No time for words. The sheriff's in, in the way of your meal and your survival. Gear. Uh, you are going to get Rambo's knife. Your objectives. Defeat Sheriff Teasel. Uh, mission failure. You have four wounds. Objectives are not complete at the end of round three. So now, this is where we, sound, we set up our round three. So we got to beat this Teasel guy. But this is not going to be easy, folks. This is not going to be easy. So our little knife here. And we put the little thing into the slot here. Now here's Rambo. So I'm going to bring him in here. But I will put him right here once we get started a little bit. And actually, I'll probably go up above uh, for the rest of this. All right. Points of interest, none. Uh, mission triggers. Surrender at any time during the mission. You uh, you may surrender to Teasel. He arrests you, cuffs you, and takes you into the to the station. Uh, Teasel's defeat is a mission success. We won't read what happens if we win, but if we fail, well, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good, folks. All right, all right. Let's go top down. So we kind of got everything here. So I'm going to put over. Our success because I don't want to know what happens if we success uh, succeed or fail because I haven't read this I'm trying to make sure I get this right now unfortunately guess what Teasel gets to go first okay so we have our our objective here we have these things we're gonna have some wounds here uh, I'm gonna take some of these out of here and I don't want to ruin this whole story for you that's for sure that's for sure so we're gonna start and we have to have one of these on here to count how much health we have. All right. So here we go. So the way this goes is that Teasel's going to get to go first. He'll eat things a billy goat would puke. <laughs> so the stands are now a movie theater audience. Of course. Of course. I am the movie theater. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we activate enemies. So Sheriff Teal is going to apply, is going to attack Rambo, move towards Rambo, and then attack Rambo again. All right. Rambo, unfortunately, is going to take four, he's going to take two wounds from his gun because I'm going to show you how, oh, let me show this up here. All right, so. This is the range. Oh, the, um, hold on. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay, our range is here, so he can two squares. Right here, he has his target. He can target one person. He can move two. He has a defense of two that you have to crack through. He's going to do two damage, and he has nine health. So there's a lot of things not going our way. So. You guys wanted it. This, ain't, this this is not going to end well. So the first thing he does, he's going to attack. So that's going to do two damage. Uh, one, two. All right, there we go. All right. He's going to move towards Rambo. He doesn't need to because he's in front of Rambo. And then he's going to attack a Rambo again for two. All right, not good. So we do not get any mission card. I mean, we do not get any... I believe we do not get any tactic cards to start off, which is not good. That's not the way we wanted to start this off. Let me bring this over so you guys can see this. We do have a knife. Okay, when you are hidden, this weapon would do two additional damage uh, instead of one damage. Well, that's not going to help us much. 
Um, we're going to get one additional damage, so we're going to do four damage. So we have to choose a stance here uh, before anything else. So we're going to clear any of effects. Um, we activate our enemy. We're clear any effects. Now we're going to choose a stance. All right. So now, oh boy, I think what our guy here, what we're going to have to do. Hmm. I think I, I think the only thing that we can do is try to get two. Now remember, when I pick a stance here, so when I if I decide to do this stance right here, that's all good and dandy. But the problem is, is that I'm going to I can't use it again the next following turn. So these are two actions, and I really kind of want to take these two actions. But you know something? I can go here and use the one action. And then come up to there. And I might be able to get out of this alive, which would be a shocker. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, Rob, you start with two tactic cards. Oh, we do start with two tactic cards? It didn't say in the mission. I thought you'd go by, by mission. Okay. So we have our tactic cards. And we're going to pull... That's why Chris is here. Oh, well, this is even better. When I was reading the mission, because the other mission tells you how many tactic cards you start with. All right. So I'm going to sh shuffle these up. And I'm going to grab two maybe these will give us an advantage that we sorely need so i'm going to take two off the top here and i'm going to turn it over all right oh this is a good one each time you defeat an enemy ah, but you gain uh, that's not really going to help us we're going to gain a valor play at the start of your turn discard all your valor each time an, an, an enemy each time you defeat an enemy you gain immediate you immediately gain one activation. You may not gain valor while ugh, this isn't going to help us either. Boy, that stinks. That stinks. And this one, well, I could play this card and gain um gain a shield. Yeah, but that but Tiesel's attack ignores any kind of defense. So neither one of these cards are gonna help me at all. Yeah, I, I read that that you get uh first two uh, the first two cards. And just going back over here. Yeah, uh I get my gear and then you get your two tactic cards. See, what I thought, it says, find the number tactic cards the mission book tells you to use for this mission. Each tactic card number is printed on the bottom. So I didn't see any numbers, so I didn't think you had to draw them. There you go. Hmm. I mean, well, maybe I missed that. That's a bad draw. So, so tactics, I get no tactics here. So now I've got to make a decision. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use my draw blood. Okay. That's going to give me an action, but it's going to give me two valor. Two valor. And I need valor right now. Trust me. I need valor. So that's going to help me quite a bit. Because now I'm going to take my action and I'm going to attack our boy here. All right, so he's going to absorb two, and he's only going to take two damage. So he's down to seven. Oof, not good. That's 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 just tough stuff there. All right, so now going back to our our beginning here, battlefield conditions. We advance the round marker. Okay, so we're going to advance the round marker. And remember, we don't have a lot of a lot of turns to do this. We have to do this by... This could be a mission failure. If I cannot 
get this done by by three I'm gonna have some problems here all right so it's now Sheriff Teasel he, we're gonna activate him he's gonna hurt us again for two it's gonna be one and then two so now that causes a wound I have to block out one of these areas so I'm going to block out this one he's gonna to move towards me nope and then one two all right so now I can always surrender. I could always surrender. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try one more thing with our friend here, and then if that doesn't work, we're gonna surrender. So we're gonna get two actions. If I get two actions, if I go up here, <clears throat> if I get two actions, that's gonna do two. And then I can add two there, which would give me six. But that would bring me to eight. I could defeat... I can defeat him. But do I want to take the additional wounds? That's the problem here, folks. I gain it. I would... If I played kill, period. Each time you defeat an enemy, you gain a valor. But the problem is, is that I would gain a valor at the end. It's not going to help me heal any wounds. I need to heal things. How am I going to heal my boy here? How am I going to heal my boy here? And you don't want to go into the next missions getting all banged up. I'm almost thinking that we should... Hmm. I think we should surrender. I mean, getting shot isn't helping us. He gets captured right Look at this. Everybody's saying he never surrenders. He never surrenders. Ugh. Remember, though, if he takes four wounds, he's dead. And there is none. Hmm. There's no other enemies nearby. Take a wound. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do we keep fighting? Or do we surrender? Remember, I can't come back to this. And next time I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get rid of something. You can spend actions to draw more tactic cards. Yeah. I don't think those tactic cards are gonna help me until until the next mission. Do I get to carry these cards over from mission to mission? Rambo chooses his battles carefully. Surrender and wait. Okay, so that's one. Plus use the Valor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That would bring him up to eight. It's not enough. The cards get shuffled. Okay, and you get new ones. All right, cool. So, we have one person that says surrender. Should we keep fighting? This is going to be the best out of three. Okay. So if we get two surrenders, we're going to go. We're going to surrender to Tiesel. Or do we fight to the death? I'm going to. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. This is your world. So we've got one so far to surrender. You can do it. Get him. Finish him. Christopher says fight it out. Christopher says fight it out. He drew first blood. Fight. Jason says fight. All right, we continue. All right, so I'm going to get two actions here. And I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to defeat this guy is by using the two actions. Now, here's the way it's going to work, okay? My first, first thing is I'm going to attack again, okay? So... I get to do four damage. He has an armor of two. Boom. Okay, so we're going to do two additional damage. All right. So now we've done four damage to Teasel. And Teasel's messed up now. All right, so we're going to do two. Boom. The next one, I'm going to use my Valor. Okay, and that's going to add to it. So it's four plus two is six. Okay. 
plus subtract his defense. Now we're going to do four damage to him. So now we're up to eight. All we have to do somehow is do one more damage to him. And then we've got we've taken care of him. But Johnny's going to take a beat in here. All right. And even if I play this, even if I play this, okay, we've got a problem here. Because if I play this, uh, the, the defense isn't going to help me. But I think I'm going to play it anyways and use it. I'm going to gain one, one, um, one shield, but that's not going to help me. All right. But each time I defeat an enemy, I'll gain an, uh, a, a valor. So if I get to defeat him next turn, that'll be that'll be good. Now, we're going to play that on our next turn, of course. So now it's Sheriff Teasel's turn. He's going to attack Rambo. One, two. Then he's going to attack. He's going to move towards Rambo. He doesn't have to. Then he's going to attack him again. One, two. Oh, man. Come on. So now we're going to take another wound. Remember, we can only take four wounds. So what am I going to cover? Well, I don't get an action here. That's going to hurt me really, really bad. And that has a healing action, which I really could have used. But I'm going to have to block that out because I need the action to kill him. My turn. I'm going to play this. So I'm going to make sure that I get a Valor each time... I defeat an enemy. So at the end of this, I will get a Valor that will carry over, I believe. Oh, these two are gone, by the way, folks. So now we're going to choose a stance because it's now... Oh, that was turn... We are now in turn three. I'm sorry. So I got I to gotta kill him this turn. So will I? I sure will. I sure will. Because on top of that, I'm going to get two extra Valor. All right. So I'm going to get two Valor, and then I'm going to attack him. All right, I attack for four. His defense is two. That's going to take care of him. So we were able to take out Sheriff Teasel. All right, we ended up, and then we do get an extra Valor, which is going to help us. Rambo, he's beat up a little bit, but he's Rambo. Yeah, I mean, if he ain't bleeding and... and, and and getting mauled all over the place then then what the heck is going to happen okay so our our mission was a success we defeated sheriff teasel so let's see what happens here you defeat teasel and have escaped the police as you run off into the woods you you can hear the sheriff's share uh, the sheriff on his radio calling all cars we wounded him we didn't we didn't kill him all cars to his position and follow you into the woods. He's even calling in a helicopter. Really? Adrenaline pumping, you keep running. You hear sounds like running water not too far away and head towards it. Fresh water would be a godsend right now. You come to a broad but shallow river and take a few re refreshing sips. As you lean forward, you see your reflection on the water covered in dirt and blood just like before you slap the water surface churn up your reflection you don't have time to think this is a battlefield stay still and you're as good as dead so we're going to turn to chapter five so we're going to skip a whole bunch of stuff here so it's kind of interesting so these are going to go away okay and we're going to sh we're going to put these on the bottom actually and we'll shuffle that if we need it. We're going to turn to Chapter 5, Helicopter Harassment, on page 14. We're going to take Rambo off. We have our knife. Rambo's all banged up, which is never a good thing. And we're going to go to page 14. I don't want to give too much away. See, you could play this multiple times because the story changes every single time. All right. Let's see what happens to our boy Rambo here. All right. The movie is already different now. See? There, well. All right. 
you push yourself along the river bank at a hard pace, heading up river and deep into the mountains. You round the bend in the river and find your path blocked by a steep cliff. Waters cascade down from above. You start climbing. As you make your ascent, you hear familiar thrum of helicopter blades. There are voices and dogs barking somewhere above you. The sheriff's men have gotten ahead of you somehow. They must have taken a different route and cut you off. You're well above the treetops now, and there's no way you can face them while you're hanging off the side of a mountain. It's best you descend. Rambo, what do you do? All right, here's where you guys decide, right? Wow, so we skipped the improcing at the jail. Very interesting, says the preacher. Uh, again, I don't want to ruin too much of this, so I'm just going to go a little bit farther. Okay, again, it's a thing that I want to give you a feel for this. I want you to see what this is all about and how this all works out. Okay, climb down as fast as you can, relying on your strength and speed to get you below cover before the helicopter arrives. Or hold your breath and jump for the treetops below. It's a long fall, but the branches are thick and you should be able to grab onto something. A or B, folks. I'll we'll leave it up to you. A or B. A, B, B, B. Oh, wow. Everybody went, yeah, a lot of Bs. Okay, so B wins the day. B wins the day. Hold your breath. Jump. For the treetops below so we're gonna go to b let's see what happens here b b b b option b you jump throw yourself off the side of the mountain grabbing desperately onto tree branches for something anything to break your fall you grab a hold of tree bands but you're falling too fast and it breaks you're buffered by branches as you fall until you hit a sturdy limb but as you do, a smaller branch pierces through your left arm. You scream in agony. Oh no, we're gonna take we're gonna take another we're gonna take another wound. Uh oh. So now I'm really in a bad position here. So by taking another wound here, folks, and I'm gonna bring this over. This isn't good. We can only take one more wound. Uh, do I go with two actions? Or wow, um, boy, I can use the valor. I got some valor, so I have to take that one. Out. We take one more wound, we die. Not cool. Not cool. All right. So I'm gonna move this off. Since Sheriff Tiesel is eliminated, I'm gonna move this off to the side here. And we're going to go to chapter 6, Hunted, on page 16. Not ah, cool. All right. You race deeper into the woods, but the overhead cover is light, and before long, you hear the chopper again. Deputy Galt must have browbeaten the pilot into coming back. You hear his rifle sound as something zips by your head. You hide behind a large tree for cover. He's still firing. You can't afford to be pinned down like this. What do you do? Requires rock. It's a tough... Well, you can't do that. We don't have a rock. Uh, it's a tough throw, but you think you the chopper is low enough, you could, gra you could hit it with one of the rocks you grabbed. Uh, throw a rock. All right, do we... Uh, well, we didn't grab a rock. But uh, take off deeper into the trees. And that's going to be option B here. Where you hope the chopper can't follow. So I'm going to let you guys pick. Do we do A or B? So we don't have a rock. So we can't do that. We have to take off into the trees where you hope the chopper can't, the chopper can't follow. 
Yeah, B, 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 B. Every, well, doesn't matter. Everybody says B anyways. So we're going to go to mission five. Uh-oh. All right, mission five. Pray. <laughs> oh, it's our boy, Deputy Galt. Oh, how we hate him. And, of course, he's painted to look glorious. And our boy starts here. Okay. So that's what we got. We got Deputy Galt here. I'll pour, bring out his uh, card just so uh, it could look a little bigger on here. So, yeah, see, it's a little bit bigger. So it takes up a little bit more space here. Let me get my big head out of the way. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen here. And I'm going to put this card back over here. All right. You run into the deep forest, dodging gulp, parting, parting shots. You hear the chopper land somewhere behind you. Galt must have decided to follow you on foot. Oh, that's a little different. You try to lose Galt, but he's fresh, and you're tired from climbing. Eventually, he catches up to you. Murder in his eyes. You're going to have to defend yourself. All right. Um, well, we do have our knife still. Where's my knife? All right, this is going to go five rounds. Let me tell you something. I've got to find to take this this dude out. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where, oh, where did my gear go? Oh, I, I bet you it's under here. Yeah, okay, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. All right, heal one wound. That's going to help us. That's going to help us. Gold has a range of two. One, two. He can move two. So we're going to heal one wound and we're going to draw a tactics card. Gear slots. Equip up to three gear cards. So I can equip up to three gear cards? Do I pull three gear? Hmm. Let me see something here. Oh, I got to move that back to one. Um, do I want to keep this? Do I want to keep this? And I see that would give me no movement whatsoever. Galt's going to get to go first. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So he has a range of two. He's focused on me. He can move to. If Rambo is within two space, okay. So. so I have a knife. Do I get to pull two gear cards? I know I'm going to get to pull a, a tactic card. So I'm going to draw one tactic card. So I'm just going to grab one randomly. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we get here before we go too much further. Your worst nightmare. Play when you are not adjacent to an enemy. Gain the hidden token. While you are hidden, enemies do not move towards or attack you. If you attack while hidden, deal one extra da damage, lose the hidden token after you use any adjacent action. So if I, I could play this right off the bat. Lose the hidden token after you use any attack, any action, or end any movement. All right, so... How do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take this one away. Uh, see, that's only gonna give. Me, it's not gonna give me any movement. I'm gonna take this one away. As much as I want to use that, I'm gonna use this. All right. So. I think I'm gonna play this right away. All right. I should be able to play it, and it's gonna give me the hidden token. So Galt isn't going to come after me. And the second thing was attack R Rambo, but he can't see Rambo. I think that's the way that it would play. Hold on here. I gotta give myself the hidden token. So 
So if I play this right now, which I'm, I'm going to. <clears throat> this really helps me a lot. So if Rambo is within two spaces, which I'm not, he would move away. Attack Rambo. I'm not in range. <clears throat> I'm hidden. With hidden, enemies can't move or attack you. However, uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a however. You lose hidden as soon as you use an action or move adjacent to an enemy. All right, that's fine because there's a way to get through this. If you attack while hidden, so I'm not going to get the plus one. So I, I was able to stop him from that. So he gets two defense. So I've got to figure a way to drill this dude as badly as I can. So if I come over here, I would move one, but my weapon only has a range of one. I have to be adjacent. I have no choice but to use this. So I'm going to use on the run. Okay. I'm going to use on the run. And what that's do, it's going to give me one action, but it's going to give me three movement. And because of my movement, I'm going to lose the hidden token, unfortunately. One, two. I'm going to come up to Galt. All right. Now, if I do this, I should be able to do this correctly and get him. So here's the way it's going to go, folks. The nice thing about my my knife is if he came up to me and he was hidden, he doesn't move. So when you are hidden, this weapon would deal two damage. It would really help me out. Instead, I'm going to get a plus one. So it's going to do four. Okay. Hold on here. Hold on here. I'm going to gain a defense also because I'm on the run, which helps, which helps. All right. Now I'm going to do an attack action with my knife. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attack for four. All right. That's fine. That's fine. But I can use my valor to add to that. And I add plus three to my attack. So now four goes up to seven. Okay. He has a defense of two. We're going to take that away. He has a health of five. We're going to get Galt and we're going to kill Galt. Ugh. Right like that. And this hidden token really helped us a lot. Really helped us a lot. So this now gets shuffled back in. So, and we did that in one, one mission. I mean, one thing. So, it was a success. What happens? We eliminated Deputy Galt. Defeat Galt, read mission success. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, we, we're going to acquire some gear here. You sh your struggle carries you back to the jagged rocks of the riverbed. Each of you refusing to yield. You land a solid punch to Galt's jaw. He staggers backwards, glassy-eyed, and collapses onto the rocks. You hear his head hit with a crunch. He's not moving, and his neck is twisted at a terrible angle. You've seen people with injuries like this before. They're always fatal. You find his rifle and jacket back where he dropped them. The rifle is still usable. Ah. so we would go to chapter 7 bad timing but I'm going to tell you something I'm going to leave it right here I'm going to tell you why hey Steve how are you I'm going to tell you why we're going to leave it here I don't want to ruin this for you okay I would play this through but I don't want to ruin it for you so I gave you 
you guys got to pick some things but there are different ways that you can go through this okay and you got to wonder what happens because chapter 7 says bad timing on page 17 which can't be good can't be good and I'm tempted to just take a peek here Uh, yeah there's there's some stuff there there's text there and i don't want to i don't want to read what happens but i'm telling you right now this is fun this has a lot of neat little things and it's a cliffhanger yet and if we get enough comments to say hey we want to see the end and this that, and the other but i don't want to ruin it for the person that wants to i think the next if, if we were to continue on which which we would i would put in there in the next one that we do spoilers so people wouldn't want to watch but why would i want to make something that people don't want to watch but for you guys you guys can uh this is i believe this is going to go retail chris the second part or does it come in a giant bundle so this is very different from the other game the other game, again, you're get you know you're watching your threat level and all that other stuff, and there's a lot more enemies coming at you. This you're playing through, and there's some twists and turns, and there's some roadblocks that you would have to go back and start over uh, if you you chose the wrong thing. So a lot of interesting little things that that notice. It's for pre-order right now at Miniature Market. So guys, if you want to get it, check it out there's eight remaining go pre-order it i guarantee you you won't be disappointed i really like this i wanted to give you a nice look at this and show you that that this is a little side thing you could do on your own but you, the one to four player is a total different experience and these are two totally thing things that are different from each other that get you know you would start here and then you work your way all the way through hopefully and then you go into the main board game so what this does, it does a couple things. It teaches you a little bit more about the game. So if you want to play this first and then go into Rambo 2 and 3, you're, you're going to have a tremendous experience either way. Um, I dump everything all over the place, right? But I actually, I, I really like this. This is a lot of fun. Tim, D6. Hi, Rob. How do you think this would replay? Um... I think it'd be fun because there's always a chance that you can lose if you don't choose the right things and there's different different ways like i didn't get the rock to throw at the chop chopper so how do i get the rock there's a, a different way to get the rock so there's different ways you can follow it through and possibly end up like the movie or you can run into some things like we were in pretty bad trouble there for a second we had three wounds Fortunately, we were able to get rid of one of the wounds, but there was a good chance that if if I didn't if I didn't pull that tactics card and he moved towards me and hit me, I would have been in a lot a lot of trouble and I could only pick one of those things and I wouldn't have been able to do the things that I needed to do if I didn't save my valor the way I did. There were a lot of different there were some things that worked my way by luck. But also, I had some bad luck and I didn't get good tactic cards. So I had to change my tactics. So does it have replay value? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I think so. And it and it does a nice job. It does a nice job. I, I, I really, really enjoy this. And I, I enjoy the miniatures too. I mean, it comes with five miniatures. I think, uh, let, let's go down to... Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. And you can see, like I said, you're not getting, you're not getting, if you expect uh, Games Workshop quality, please. Okay. But what you do have here. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to come up here and I'll zoom in a little bit so it doesn't go. Oh, right, there you go. I mean, they're, they're nice. I really like them. Like I said, I took that guy off the base only because I wanted to make him all jacked up and stuff like that. It just adds to the whole theme of everything. But very nice. Very well done. 
Sheriff Teal, Galt, who's a punk. You got the uh, deputy, and then um, I believe that's Ward. No, that's not Ward. Uh, that's oh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, Mitch, Deputy Mitch. Nice, easy, quick paint ups. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I really think this is very, very good, and I think you guys would enjoy it. All right. I mean, I was enjoying it. I don't know about you guys, and I think I think you guys were enjoying watching it. I think it was it was fun to play around with. All right. Listen. You guys are the best, as always. Thank you so much for watching. We got a big day tomorrow. Uh, next week, we'll get back on track a little bit better. I did promise I was going to get this done, so this is one of those things. I'm, I'm doing it on a Saturday morning to, to try to fulfill what I said I was going to do. We've got we're going to be uh, working on arena, uh, sin tempore. Uh, we've got so uh, soccer tomorrow, soccer slash football with uh, Subudio League. Uh, week eight, week eight of nine. Things are tensing up there, so we got a full day tomorrow uh, morning. So join us tomorrow. Um, next week, next week. Uh, Rumble Slam is going to be the week after, and I think next week, the way I decided to do the Rumble Slam thing, so we're not doing Rumble Slam every week, it's going to be a bi-weekly show, but in the off week, we are going to be doing uh, something I've been wanting to do for some time now, and that's our Blood Bowl League. So the first couple of weeks of the Blood Bowl League, are, we're going to be putting and painting teams together. We're going to be talking about the teams that are going to be coming into the league. We're going to be setting up and going over how to play Blood Bowl, and then we will start our league. Okay. Uh, actually, it's going to be a tournament for the Blood Bowl Cup, uh, which I do have. I have the old version of the actual Blood Bowl Cup. So we will be doing a four-team tournament. Uh, just to start off, and then we'll start a league. And as teams get better, they get more deadly. So I'm trying to decide. I think Tuesdays are going to be our sports day. Football, uh, football slash soccer will always be on Sundays. And then um, there were some other things. Oh, uh, finally, not next week, but the week after, uh, we are going to have three consecutive days of Frostgrave, as we will be working and playing uh, the third edition. Uh, I'm just waiting for a couple of figures. I should have I should have them the beginning of the week. I will paint them, um, and we'll be off and running because we do we have a whole whole thing that we are going to do with Frostgrave, and it's something I promised for the last year, but I have slowly worked on this whole. Thing that I have an extensive table that is going to be used for uh, Frostgrave and we are going to do an entire campaign uh, you have to work hard to put out quality content uh, I'll tell you you know that um, I'll be honest with you preacher the hardest part of this is that I am just one person and I have so many games to get to like I've also promised that I would get to Sherlock Holmes and uh, pro proving grounds that you'll see next week. Core space that's been painted for a while. Uh, Rob, are you Rambo? Deep down, I'm I'm the old version. Well, I just rip parts out now. Uh, Bernardo, thank you. Uh, he said greetings. How are you, my friend? Nice, nice little system. I think you'll enjoy this. And and the other game is very solo. Uh, the board game if you haven't seen that video go back and check it out I don't think you're going to be disappointed I think you'll like it a real real lot <sighs> alright I'm going to go take a break today uh, because I had to rush and get these all painted up so we can play these this today um, um, I think I'm trying to think if there was anything I, I needed to cover. I really apologize for yesterday's um, Rumble Slam. It wasn't very good. And the reason being is I tried the new Restream. I like the new Restream uh, interface. And we're Restreaming now. 
but I, I got to find out how I can schedule things and use the OBS. And um, that's been a little bit of a struggle with the new system. I found out how to get the, the 1080, but um, don't let that be indicative of what Rumble Slam is going to be. We have a whole thing that is going to be very exciting and we should be able to keep it under an hour uh, as we, an hour, hour and a half. So it'll be a lot of fun. Great story. Great game. I love what Chris does. Thank you, Chris. Um, you're going to be Secret, Secrets of the Lost Station uh, is going to be coming soon also. Uh, you're going to be seeing that. And uh, Chris, uh, we're actually going to go back and um, uh, uh, we're going to be do uh, tomb, uh, Secrets of the Lost Tomb. We'll be visiting that at some point as well. All right. I've done it all, said it all. I think uh, I, you get a good feel for this. I hope you enjoyed this. Listen, thanks so much for watching. I know I tend to ramble on, and I apologize for that. Until next time, okay, when we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, Sabutio Live tomorrow, week eight. It's, it's tensing up. There's a lot of stuff going on. Until next time, it's your old pal, Ron. We'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget, go pre-order this at Miniature Market.